Hello friends, I again welcome you to Asan IAS. You know that I have divided environment into five, five parts. Introduction, wetlands, biodiversity, climate, environmental organizations, environmental laws, environmental movements, etc. So we have started wetlands, we have already seen introduction to wetlands, now we will see coral reefs. So this video is about coral reefs, very small topic, hardly take 20 minutes, not very important, occasionally maybe once in 4-5 years you may get one question in prelims, okay. What we are going to learn in this topic? First we understand what are coral reefs, then we will see types of coral reefs, then what are their benefits, functions of coral reefs and threats to coral reefs. What is coral bleaching? This is also a threat, we will see in detail what is coral bleaching. Then finally, where are important coral reefs are there, especially in India. Getting me very small topic, these six concepts we are going to see in this topic. Can I start? Right. First we will start with what are coral reefs. Coral reefs are a kind of ecosystem, these are a diverse underwater ecosystem, diverse means all forget this, they are secreted, these are calcium carbonate structures secreted by corals and what are corals? These are polyps live in clusters, I know that some of you have not understood, no problem. First understand what is a polyp, polyp is a tiny animal live in marine or ocean water small uh, animal and they always live in clusters, millions of such polyps live together, they are called corals. So understand what is polyp, what is coral? What these polyps do, they secrete calcium carbonate structures and you know after long time, I mean for, uh, for years when they secrete all these uh, structures and when they die, what happen, all these structures pile up and they form coral reefs. You understand what I mean? So coral reefs are calcium carbonate structures secreted by corals. And what are corals? These are polyps live in clusters. Getting me? And these are, then you know it becomes an ecosystem and there will be life in these corals. We will see that. First you understand what are coral reefs. Now, these are called rainforests of the sea. Because if you see on land, where you find most of life or you can say biodense, uh, biomass highest kaha hota hai on land, it is in rainforests. Similarly in ocean, coral reefs. They occupy just less than 0.1% of surface of you know ocean and they give, they are home to more than 25% of species. I mean species of ocean species, marine species. You can understand the importance. So occupy less than 0.1% of the world's ocean surface, yet they provide a home for at least 25% of all marine species. Getting me? That's why they are called rainforests of the sea. That's why they are diverse ecosystems. Getting me? Now, where they are found extensively? So if you see they are mainly in the zone from 30 degree north and 30 degree south. That means near tropics you find them highest. With latitude they decreases. Suppose if there is a statement in the question that coral reefs are found at higher latitudes. I mean the density of coral reefs, uh, you know, they are spread more in higher latitudes. It's wrong. They are in tropics, lower latitudes. And if you see area wise, no need to remember, total area is 2,84,300 square kilometer, which is approximately 0.1% of the ocean surface area, but no need to remember this. Just keep this 0.1% in mind, so you can understand the importance, no need to remember the area. And where they are uh, found mostly, Asia and you know Pacific and Australia, then Southeast Asia, you can see in the map. So Asia and Australia, Southeast Asia and Australia, you find them highest. So Pacific including Australia consists more than 40 percent and Southeast Asia 32 percent. Hope you understand what I am saying. So this is all about the first point. Now we understand the second concept, types of coral reefs. Generally they are classified into three types, fringing reef, barrier reef and atoll. 
what are these you can understand from the figure itself from the picture itself if you see fringing reef they are almost directly attached to a shore or maybe separated by a shallow channel small canal type of channel so these are called fringing reefs and barrier reefs these are separated from mainland by a deep channel or lagoon if you see from mainland and the reefs there is some gap you can see in the second uh, figure and at all if you see there is no mainland at all so they are mostly circular or continuous extending without any you know particular uh, mainland so these are atolls so fringing reefs directly attached to a shore or separated by a small channel and barrier reefs separated by a large channel and atolls no shore or no mainland at all are you getting me now we understand what are the benefits of coral reefs one is ecosystem services and biodiversity because biodiversity lot of life it is home so obviously ecosystem services it has ecosystem services means to continue this life cycle it has its own role then you can see important habitat obviously you know fishing and all important habitat obviously fish vagara jyada waha rahenge so obviously waha jo economically also viable hai fishing karna extra extra hota hai right similarly shoreline protection they protect the shoreline from erosion and all because they reduce the power of tides and all right then you can say even in you know, a tourism recreation activities even you can say source of medicines you can find certain kind of medicines also there right so all these things even you can add one or two if you find any positive activity like this any ecosystem is always has certain benefits so this is also a kind of good ecosystem so you can write such benefits now what are threats to coral reefs any negative action even such question come in the exam in prelims let us say which of the following is a threat to coral coral reefs 1 2 3 4 such options are there you have to find one only one and two only like that you need not mug up you can easily understand any such extreme or you know negative action you can take like unsustainable fishing unsustainable things are always you know not good over fishing similarly like land based pollutions land based sources of pollution like agricultural now we say kya hota hai because of these pollutions these coral reefs you know they get bleached similarly you can say bio erosion bio erosion is a natural process it is removal of calcium carbonate substrate by biological agents so it could be a threat so what unsustainable fishing similarly land based pollution bio erosion etc etc even climate change vagera vagera bhi if you want to add you can add it right next we understand what is coral bleaching if you see you have already seen in the first part there is symbiotic relationship between corals and algae you can see in this first figure here so corals and algae have symbiotic relation what is symbiotic symbiotic relationship that means both will get benefit how corals are getting benefit from algae corals will get color and attraction from algae that's why you know it is colorful and attractive so many species live there and how algae is getting support so they are getting shelter from our, uh, corals so both are mutually benefited that kind of relation is there now what happened if some situation changes like some conditions like temperature increases sea water temperature increases because of climate change or maybe you know water salinity sea salinity increased or decreased in that case this algae finds it difficult to stay there so algae cannot survive so algae start leaving this coral you can see in the second figure so algae started has started leaving so the such corals are known as stressed coral that means algae symbiotic coral symbiotic relationship has been disturbed now what happened in the third figure you can see if algae completely leaves these corals then you know this is called bleached coral this coral has lost its attraction getting me so this process is called coral bleaching so three steps step one there is symbiotic relation between corals and algae step two some you know situation comes where you know it is not favorable for algae to survive to stay there then algae leaves 
then that is stressed coral and step 3 when once this algae completely leaves coral become white and it has lost its importance or importance means attraction and color so it is called bleached coral so this process is coral bleaching and what are the regions the main regions if you see change in ocean temperature change in sea salinity these are two main causes okay because to survive this algae for the survival of this algae some ideal temperature will be there like between 25 degree centigrade and 27 degree centigrade something like that when it increases they cannot survive similarly when the sea salinity changes or decreases then you know they cannot survive this kind of things even you can add other regions like agricultural runoff or maybe you know pollution similarly over exposure to sun extremely low tides etc etc whatever is the basic nature if it changes it will cause but two major causes you keep in mind that is temperature and salinity hope you understand this if you find that i am going fast because my idea is to support those aspirants who are sincere and might be preparing for second or third time because you do not have time to waste because you already know the basics of course even you do not know i am talking i am starting from zero level but you know i don't have uh, you know i don't want to waste your time just by saying the same thing small thing you know ek ghante ka lecture dene mein koi fayda nahi if if any particular topic is important for exam point of view then i will definitely explain in detail in detail means i will explain slowly now also i am explaining in detail but uh, i am going little fast hope you are understanding me and finally we will see important coral reefs first we will see the great barrier reef in australia great barrier reef is the largest reef in in, uh, in the world so the great barrier reef in australia is the largest comprising over 2900 individual reefs and 900 islands stretching for over 2600 kilometers just for information i am telling you you need not remember how many islands are there how many kilometers it has stretched and all but keep this word in mind great barrier reef is in australia and which is the largest hope you got it after this we will focus on our indian coral reefs now you see one more point if you see the eastern coast from bengal till chennai you don't find any coral reefs the reason is because of the large quantity of fresh water carried by many east flowing rivers you know so many uh, east flowing rivers carry more water compared to west flowing rivers because of the fresh water so corals cannot be formed there so you don't find any corals here getting me so corals are seldom found along the coastline of south asia from the eastern tip of india that is chennai to the bangladesh and myanmar borders due to fresh water release from the ganges and other rivers hope you understand why they are not formed if you see important coral reefs you can say you have coral reefs in andaman and nicobar andaman and nicobar the corals are no need to know how many islands have corals and all but you can say that they are all fringing reefs then you have coral reefs in gulf of kutch in gujarat gulf of kutch you find coral reefs as well as mangroves very important there is a marine national park there and you know you find both getting me gulf of kutch marine national park coral reefs as well as mangroves so you find here these are also fringing reefs so these are also fringing reefs then you find corals in gulf of manar so gulf of manar in tamil nadu corals these are also fringing reefs so fringing reefs with a chain of 21 islands from rameshwaram in the north to tutukudi in south no need to know these places just remember gulf of manar you find coral reefs in tamil nadu and they are fringing reefs and finally you have coral reefs in lakshadweep also but these are not fringing reefs these are atolls there will be no mainland here the whole island of lakshadweep they themselves are formed because of corals getting me so these are all atolls that's why 96% of lakshadweep are wetlands because all are coral reefs getting me so some other small coral reefs if you see on the western coasts like you find tarkali in malwa malwa region of maharashtra similarly you have vijayadurg in maharashtra 
and you have small island small coral reefs in netrani island karnatak so small, small coral reefs you find on western coast but you don't find coral reefs even small coral reefs on the eastern side other than in gulf of manar because of water uh, fresh water carried by east flowing rivers hope you understand what i am saying so these are all important coral reefs in india and the largest in the world is great barrier reef in australia now let me summarize what all we have seen so first we have seen what are coral reefs so these are calcium carbonate structures secreted by corals and what are corals these are polyps in clusters then these are also called rainforests of the sea because they occupy less than 0.1% of area but they are they, they are home to more than 25% of marine life that's why they are very important and they mainly present between 30 degree north and 30 degree south and pacific and australia around 43% and southeast asia around 32% if you see the types fringing reef that means they are directly attached to a shore or separated by a very small channel barrier reef they are separated from shore by a wide channel and atolls they do not have any mainland they are mostly circular and without any island they are formed like luxury reefs and what are benefits like ecosystem services biodiversity similarly important habitat and shoreline protection tourism source of medicine recreation activities etc etc hope you understand then threats if you see global warming climate change unsustainable fishing even you can add one or two more such negative things you all know that no need to mug up just for an idea i am telling you similarly land based pollution bio erosion bio erosion may be you know something new to you otherwise rest all you know so these are all some threats then finally what is coral bleaching step 1 Dis uh, disturbed algae because algae start leaving the coral and uh, algae symbiotic relationship will get disturbed then algae leaves and coral start losing its color and attraction then finally if they completely leaves then algae will lost its attraction and become white bleached bleached away so uh, what are the reasons change in temperature change in sea salinity are the main reasons getting me then where are important corals great barrier is the largest in australia and in india if you see andaman and nicobar these are fringing reefs similarly you have gulf of manar these are also fringing reefs you have gulf of kutch these are also fringing reefs keep in mind in gulf of manar also you find both corals and mangroves in gulf of kutch also you find both corals and mangroves in andaman also you find both corals and mangroves i will explain in detail in mangroves topic don't worry and you have luxury reefs these are atolls and small corals like you find in two in tarkali and vijayadurga in maharashtra and netrani in karnataka hope you got it now let us take a question which was asked in 2014 paper consider which of the following have coral reefs andaman and nicobar islands you directly remember as yes, they have corals in fact they have mangroves also gulf of kutch yes important area both corals and mangroves are there gulf of manar important area yes both corals and mangroves are there sundarbans sundarbans do not have corals they only have mangrove forests getting me so eastern coast no corals so sundarbans is wrong so 1 2 3 are correct very easy question direct question so answer is option a hope you got it so this is all about coral reefs very simple topic very small topic and not even a very important topic but for uh, you know uh, if not important doesn't mean that you should not learn so just keep it in mind so this is all about this and thank you for listening to this hope you enjoyed the lecture okay thank you